So the Karen Nyamu and Samido story has been going on for a hot minute. It's always something. Yemi, their, their relationship has just become so much that it's being addressed by the government. For the deputy president to know your bedroom matters, it is a lot. It is really a lot. For the president of the nation to be made aware of the things you are doing in your bedroom, that's just too much. But anyway, after Karen Nyamu said that she's, she'd actually split up with Samido, there's nothing going on there will be no more drama and then after some time there was some some something some subliminal messages being you know thrown back and forth one being called a kehe and another one being called crazy it's just been a lot anyway this time Karen Yamu goes on the defensive, no, on the offensive this time because she's always defending herself against something. It's always a narrative and she has to come out and set the record straight. This time she's on the offensive and she went on a radio station. Now we were expecting the tea. We were expecting hot drama. We were expecting her to drop bombs. But clearly with the dis disciplinary um, meeting ahead, you know, scheduled ahead and she's yet to attend that, she's really trying to clean up the image and just you know be Read good in. exactly mm. be good with her baby daddy anyway this is what she had to say about Samido first of all I am very single even though we have kids so she ended that relationship kabisa or so they say it's never really over yeah nope. and then she went on to say one thing about him is that he might not be many things but he is a responsible dad he does what he does uh, about the kids whether I talk to him or not sometimes he fails me but he is a good dad at the end of the day he is a good dad and you know it's it's refreshing to see a positive thing come out of this whole love triangle of Samido his wife Ide and a prospective wife <laughs> Karen Nyamu it's actually good to just see her her talk about him in such a positive light. But also, Karen Nyamo needs to, you know, tone it down with the drama because was it last week where it was um, uh, International Hug Day? And she decided to go ahead and post a picture of her very tightly embracing the Nairobi governor. And all of a sudden people are like, okay, is this happening again? Is this a thing? Is your new target? Mr. Sakaja, because let's be honest, that's a very handsome man, very good looking man. He yeah, actually. Like, Nyondo. Exactly. Bimbo. <laughs> Nyondo is a different thing. Uh, what did she say? <laughs> the, the, what, did, what did Susan say? <laughs> eh, we are gonna, what did she say? There was a thing she said. Donny. Akona Donny. You know what? You know what? You know what? It, it is what it is, okay? It is what it is. We are all Nairobians trying to speak Kikuyu. Anyway, um, and her and the picture she posted of her tightly hugging Sakaja elicited a lot of, you know, different reactions from netizens, from people to saying, ah, here you menda, here you menda, sana. And even former Nairobi governor decided to pipe into the conversation by commenting on said picture, super kaswende loading. Oh my goodness. To which Karen responded, enda uskie vibaya huko. It just shows they have a good relationship. Yeah. It was just a joke. There was nothing to it. But at the same time, Karen, when you know very well everyone is looking at you, everyone is waiting to see what your next move is, maybe don't post yourself hugging Sakaja. It's just, it's a lot, but we are grateful for Karen, okay? You keep our lights on with all this showbiz. We love it. I feel like Karen is in the wrong profession. Mm -hmm. That's my honest opinion. Because, like, I even saw someone else on the comment section just going, like, look at this. Uh, she's embarrassing all lawyers. Mm -hmm. And I embarrass all the Wakilis. And, of course, she had a quick comeback to that as well. However, I feel like she's in the wrong profession. I think she should have been an entertainer. Mm -hmm. She should have been something within the entertainment industry as opposed to being a politician. Because her antics are so entertaining mm -hmm. and yet so cringe. Every time we see Karen Nyamo, you know the next thing that is going to be happening at the end of that sentence is there is drama in Karen Yamo's world and it will either just be about uh, um, he, you know the the lover man mm -hmm. and the father to her two children you know it's going to be something along the Samido line or it's going to be her fighting another woman about Samido or ultimately it will be her embarrassing herself as always mm -hmm. and we accept it and we, we love you for Trump. it we love you Karen for it keep mm -hmm. giving us tea if you cannot give us good policies if you 
you cannot go and represent us in, 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 in parliament and do something sensible with the position that you've been given twice, well, might as well entertain us. I mean, there's the, we, we do miss uh, the antics of the former uh, governor, Mr. Mr. Sa, Mr. Z it was County Zero Zero, is he, oh, I forget his name. Mr. Oh my God, it was you Sonko. just said him. Yes, Trump. Mike Sonko. Sorry, <laughs> we missed the antics of Mike Sonko. Trump is no longer in power. I mean, there's a lot of missing space and a void within the political arena and having crazy people within it. So you are filling up and making up a lot of space for that. We appreciate you for it. However, as I continue to say, it is only Karen who will embarrass. Karen. Karen is the, sh the author and finisher of her antics. She is a bigger PR um, agency to herself and her drama than anyone else could ever have done. In fact, I have a feeling that she would be leaking her own drama if TMZ was a Kenyan, a Kenyan blog. Mm -hmm. Like if TMZ was here in Kenya, trust me, Karen would be leaking her drama before TMZ even has the tea, okay? That's just who she is. But these are just our opinions. <laughs>